So here we are at our double nucleus colony where we installed our two packages side by side. And the first thing that we want to look at before we open them up and do our 10 day inspection is that we're looking to see what's going on with the bees and if they're bringing in pollen and they are bringing in massive amounts of pollen. Um, we can zoom in here and look at the uh, front of the hive. They're bringing in massive amounts of pollen because the dandelions have finally started blooming. And it's been raining for five days here and they have not been out. So thankfully we're feeding them and uh, they are probably very hungry. And so now we're going to look inside and see what the progress is on day nine or 10, depending on how we're counting, after we installed the packages. So the first thing we'll do is take this off. We'll try to remind ourselves what's going on here. We had uh, one package installed on this side, another package installed on this side, and one of them we took the box out the same day, and the other one we took out, or we took it out next day, and the other one we took it out two days later. But that should not have an effect. We have our queen cage, which we uh, made sure was empty last time. And we have our queen cage here. Made sure that uh, the queen was out of it, but we just left it in there for the scent. And we're going to do an inspection of both sides of this to see how they're doing. Okay, we got my glasses on. So that I can uh, see what I'm doing here. Just gonna pop this top off. Give them a little smoke. There's still some syrup in there. You can feel it. And there's a little bit left in that one. Not as much. So we're gonna work from the outside in because our queen is probably in the middle there and we don't want to uh, risk the chance of damaging her. So we're working from this side. As you can see, the uh, bees have polished that comb. They're cleaning out all the dead bees and polishing the uh, mold that's on there and getting that all off of there. So in this frame, they are uh, filling it with nectar and pollen. They've polished it up nicely. It was a drawn comb. They did not make this comb. It was already there. But they are making it pretty. And I'm trying to see if there's any eggs in here. Blow the bees away. It doesn't look like there's any eggs just yet. I think they're preparing this frame for the queen to lay with all the food and all the resources. And this side has tons of larva in it. and eggs. Looks like they're going back. The queen is going back now that they've gotten all the comb ready. 
I'm just blowing on the bees to get them out of the way so that we can uh, zoom in and see the larva in there. Hopefully we got a good angle. And now we're going to look at this other side. And this side has freshly laid eggs in it. So that's what's going on here. So the queen worked on, uh, oh, and there's the queen right there. Right down there. You can see she's nice and golden. She's working her way in and she's looking for a place to lay. So she worked on this side first and now she's working on that side. And we'll put her in gently, whoops, so that she doesn't fall off. <laughs> so she did start right in the middle, even though there was only four frames. And uh, then this one, they are filling with nectar and pollen. So basically they're putting the food on both sides of the uh, cluster and the queen is gonna work her way toward the food so that they can feed the bees. So this side is looking very nicely. We got a laying queen. We got nectar we have pollen and we have lots of field bees bringing in the resources and they seem very calm the queen looks nice and healthy and shiny like they're taking care of her she's moving around nicely and that's all you really need to see on this 10 day inspection. This is also the time when I like to do an oxalic acid treatment before the, the bees close up the cells. And so that's day 10 after she starts laying. And so that's usually probably, and she started laying on the very first day, which is unlikely because of the weather that we've had. You would have to do it right away, but we're probably gonna do it today or tomorrow. Um, didn't look like they were uh, getting ready to cap those anytime soon. So, do a little cleaning here. So now we're gonna do the same thing the other side. smoke check the syrup still quite a bit in that one and some in that one this one looks like there are a little more bees in it and it could have been that some of the bees from this side moved to that side when we installed it. So again, we're going to work from the outside. Pop this comb out. Give it a look. See what's going on. Same as the other side. They have pollen. They have nectar. They have cleaned the comb. I don't see that this one was moldy. But they have, uh, there's orange. There's yellow and various colors of pollen. So that's a nice frame. And we'll set that one outside here so that we can manipulate this one. They have glued these two together right here with this little piece of comb. Little, little brace comb. Okay, so the queen has laid in this area. Get rid of this little piece of brace comb here. The queen has laid in this area. And you can see that the larva is getting pretty big. So it looks like she probably started on this frame first. They've also got a queen cup there. But that's normal, they'll make those. You can 
you can destroy it if you want, but it doesn't matter. They make those all the time. It doesn't mean they're trying to swarm. They just always get ready. So that's that side. That's the uh, outside of that frame. This is the inside of that frame. And here we have more eggs and larva. There's some fresh eggs and some larva. And like I said, it looks like there's more bees on this side than the other side. So what happens is if one of these gets a little too strong in another week or two, we'll move a frame of brood from this one to that side. And that's how you even them up if they, if they, uh, if they don't even out when, they first, when you first install them. All right, so we're going to look at this one. And this queen is going to town on this side. It's a lot more... A lot more uh, eggs and larvae that are uh, at the stage where they're probably going to cap them in another couple of days than on the other side. So that tells me that this side did get some of the bees and maybe they have some more of the field bees, the older bees. I have yet to see the queen. If I see her, I'll point her out to you. Just blowing the bees so we can get a good shot of what's, uh, what's down there in the comb. And uh, if we don't get a good shot, um, you can always check the uh, check the video that I made called Spring Hive Inspection. Those has some really amazing close-up mm -hmm. shots of the kind of eggs, larva, and brood that we're going to have this time of year. We don't have any capped brood just yet, but in a little while we will. I'm just going to take this little piece brace comb out of here throw it out in the weeds there for the raccoons or you can keep it if you don't want to worry a lot of people don't want to bring the raccoons but we have so many raccoons anyway that we're not bringing them they're just naturally here and these bees are so strong and powerful that the raccoons aren't going to mess with them they hear that buzzing and they don't uh, they don't give them any problems So they are just uh, actively working on this frame. Looks like just pollen. A lot of pollen and, and nectar in this frame. And we didn't see the queen in this one. And uh, if you want to, you can go back through and look for her. I don't necessarily need to see the queen because I saw eggs and larva and different pupa at different stages. And so I know that she's in there and she is working and everything is good and I'm not going to worry about it because the longer you leave the hive open and mess with them, the chance that something happens, you drop something or do something. So I don't look for my queen every time. It's nice to see her. This is also the time that you could mark her if you want to mark your queen. I'll put a video up in the card on how you mark your queens and it's a good idea. To mark them so that you know if uh, this uh, nucleus colony swarms um, in the middle of the summer or something you come in here and you want to know whether you're why aren't, why aren't you getting honey or if you're doing it for honey or why isn't this thing building up and you look and your marked queen is now not marked it means they swarm and that can happen especially if you get busy and you can't get back to it which happens to me a lot because I get busy with my other business, which is kettle corn in the summertime and it starts getting really busy. And sometimes I can't get back to the bees when I would like because of the weather or timing or whatever, all of it. So marking your queen is, uh, is a good idea. And uh, We'll do that again on these, and I'll show that process in this series, but uh, again, I have a really good video already done with that, and it has great camera angles and things, which is hard to do when you're by yourself. So if you're interested in that, um, check it out. 
I'm going to take the camera off the tripod right now and I'm going to take a shot of the inside because you do not believe how many bees are coming in with pollen in their saddlebags. It is just unbelievable. And they're all coming into that top entrance and just full of pollen. Same on this side. Coming into the top entrance. And so they're going right down. If we shoot back on this side, they're going right down and they're filling up. So you can see how important that food is. There's just no denying how uh, important the food is for the bees to just start to go crazy. So another thing we could do is we could put a pollen patty on here. And uh, I think I'm going to hold off right now because I think they're doing a good enough job. It looks like there's plenty of, plenty of eggs and plenty of brood. Not brood, but soon to be brood. So I think the only thing that I'm going to do with this hive, either today or tomorrow, is give it an oxalic acid treatment and uh, I will show that process. So thanks for watching. Well, if you'd like to become a better beekeeper, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.